More huge news on vaccines. Moderna announces its vaccine immunization is 94.5% effective. Yeah, and when you think about everything we just heard, that yeah, makes this even this more news. important. Now, this news coming just a week after Pfizer announcing its vaccine 90% effective. So there are a lot of questions about all this. Hal Eisner, you're looking into this for us. Bring us some good news, Hal. We need it. Well, I, I, what I can tell you is that I've talked to quite a few people today who all think that this news about the efficacy of this vaccine on top of the one from Pfizer is really significant news. That includes a woman I talked to who has her reservations about all of this. Take a listen. I want to know why we should risk taking this vaccine when it is brand new and giving it to our children at this point. Jill Simonian has a parenting blog called thefabmom.com. She's not against vaccinations, but as a mom of two girls, she has strong feelings about how quickly the COVID-19 vaccines are being produced. We took her concerns to UCLA emergency medicine professor Matt Waxman, who said... For kids, we have not thankfully seen a ton of kids die of this disease. There are some kids, a small subset, who've gotten infected and gotten pretty sick, but that's the minority. This has really affected primarily adults. But Waxman concedes it is fast, especially since the Ebola vaccine took five years to make. It used to take 10. The COVID vaccines are taking, he says, between 18 months and two years. They used to take five years to make a vaccine like that. And maybe even faster than that. Both he and Dr. Suman Radhanakrishna think it's those past experiences which has made this possible. Does this all seem very fast to you? It is fast, and um, but do understand that medical science and biological science has advanced enough that we can do it. To Jill's point about the need for kids to get a vaccine when there's not much evidence of the virus widely affecting them, although it's still a concern, asymptomatic ones could give it to adults. Waxman says whether kids or adults, researchers are meeting a very high bar. I'll tell you, as a parent and as a physician, I don't feel this vaccine has been rushed in terms of safety. One trial has 44,000 patients in it. The other has over 20,000. And that's really the standard in a trial. So they've met that pretty high standard. We have, we'll have at least total vaccine experience over four vaccines and probably over 100,000 patients. As a parent, that's good enough for me. My heart breaks for anyone who is hospitalized. Jill Simonian says it's all about risk versus benefits and that it's a matter of choice whether to take it or not. But to frontline health professionals, the whole experience has been exhausting. Um, we're all so ready for COVID to be over. And a 90% effectiveness rate is reported from the Pfizer vaccine and almost 95% for Moderna. I think it gives us all tremendous amount of hope that we're going to have vaccinated healthcare workers and people out there who are able to have some protection from this. I think we're still going to be wearing masks for a while, but those of us on the front lines, healthcare workers, this gives us a lot of hope at the end of this race. And Alex Christine, Dr. Fauci was on the Today Show this morning, and he said that those frontline workers could end up getting some of this by late December. The rest of us maybe by April, May, June, July along in there. So there is movement here. And again, to those I spoke with, this is all very significant. Alex, Christine, back to you. All right, Hal. So we, we know that Pfizer, Moderna working on vaccines. There's other ones that are working on vaccines at well. Could it be a situation where it's like, I want the Pfizer vaccine, I want the Moderna vaccine, you get to pick? Is it where the government's going to say, okay, we're all doing the Moderna thing? How is it going to work? Well, what the doctors tell me is it's great that there are going to be multiple vaccines because some of them may be different for different purposes. One thing is there are going to be a great need for many doses of this. Having several vaccines will help in that effort. But also there are differences. For instance, the Pfizer vaccine has to be left in cold temperatures for periods of time when not being used. That's better for hospitals. The Moderna vaccine does not have to be kept in the cold temperatures the same way, that may be better for picking up at the pharmacy. So uh, there's a lot here yet to be learned, but the fact that there's multiple vaccines out there may really in the end be a, a great big plus. Yeah, welcome news on that front today, Hal. Thanks very much. All right, we're going to